this is part of the lesson where they go jumping over a big green thing and then they've got to jump with their feet first into the water over that big green thing. What exactly this is, I, I think it's not an Olympic sport. Oh, he's holding it quite a long way away for Sophie. Go on, Sophie. Oh, she touched it on the way in. That's not really entirely surprising because he did hold it out a long way. But presumably, oh, she's getting a remark. But uh, it's not exactly an Olympic sport, as they say. I keep saying that, don't I? Okay. But uh, I think what it's for is to make people overcome their fear of jumping into the water, and also to really stretch the to stretch them as they dive off the board, to stretch their legs, their leg movement, to dive off the board. And then when, when you add that to the ability to dive you know, face first into the water, then presumably you end up with somebody that's actually able to dive like, uh, like people dive who know how to dive, so not just plop in, but actually combine that with that leg motion of jumping over the, the thing and actually come into uh, a real dive, and a real big dive. So now I think we're going to have it so that they go in more properly this time, face first, and try and bring those aspects into the into the dive. So they want to go face first, but over the bar. That's interesting. Will that happen? Yes. Yeah, that 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 girl's done it. Now will Sophie manage it? That's the question. Sophie's getting herself in position. Will she get over the bar face and then fall face first into the water? Or at least, you know, without doing a belly flop. Again, a very, very long way away at first, but she kind of didn't like it. Oh, excellent. I'm pleased with that one. But obviously the, the teachers noticed something I haven't. What a big splash that person made. One of the grown-ups, apparently. So Sophie's getting her directions. The temperature of the water is 30 degrees C. The temperature outside is 28 degrees C, apparently. Is that right? That can't be right. There's lots of snow outside. Right, let's get another one of Sophie going. Come on. These are all memories. I mean, I, I have nothing but the inside of my head to remember the equivalent lessons that I had when I was a kid. Whereas this should help Sophie to remember these pleasant moments, even when she's grown up. And anywhere she is, she can just go online and find him. And say, so this is what it was like when I was a kid growing up in Ochota, in Warsaw. And this is how I, we had swimming lessons. Oh, big jump. And she's come up further along. Some guidance. And a big splash down there. She's gone under the water again. Okay. As you see, we've got this nice big yellow thing there. And after she's finished up her lesson, she usually goes over there and goes down that one a couple of times. I do my gold list, as ever. This pen is the pen of an organisation called Business Intelligence Advisors. Discover what others are missing. 617-399-2816 www.beadvisors.com uh, We had, these are all ex-CIA people that teach you how to interview and interrogate and audit and do fraud examination so as to get the best out of the questions and the things that to look for 
when um, examining people that you know that you um, you want to get the truth out of when talking to them, things to look out for, things where they can tell that they're not being absolutely honest. So these CIA people are quite well schooled in working out where people are, you know, where their stories don't match, and how their body language also doesn't show, doesn't stack up, how they refrain from getting into detail, get into concrete aspects and I thought it was the, the message that we had from when we were over in Philadelphia because that's where I got this it was extremely good I'd like to go on one of their training sessions but they cost about two thousand dollars and I'm not sure that I can get the one through the books so um, I might have to pay it for myself just out of interest and I'm seriously thinking that I might go on that if anybody can get that one through their books and they're interested in going on it, by go on it, maybe, and if you tell them that you got it off the recommendation of this, maybe when it comes to my turn they'll give me a small discount because I, I may have to stump up for it myself. But I'm fascinated in what they had to say. They did the, really probably the best presentation on the whole conference that we had. It was really fascinating with films and things, things from Clinton and other people and other, other known, well, I don't say Clinton's a fraudster, but he wasn't exactly, uh, he's known to have lied to Congress at one point. Um, and they, they analysed that piece of footage and analysed footage of somebody else in business who was a known fraudster and they asked us all to try and spot as many things as we could that would have made us, put us, you know, suspicious. And interesting, some things, oh, some things from the, uh, from the uh, hall, various people came up with various interesting ideas, but of course that's... Uh, in comparison to what trained CIA people could pick up, what all of us auditors together could find wasn't very much. And of course now they expect the auditor to be far more of a, well not, well policemen in a very broad term, but they expect us to police more than they did, yeah? Uh, not literally policemen, but, but, but do a lot more detective work for fraud. And yet they're not giving us the uh, statutory instruments to perform these extra duties. We don't have any extra, that's a nice wave from Sophie, and any extra um, things that we can, any extra powers given to us to perform these extra duties. So with the old powers we've got additional duties. So we, we're expected to be like mini policemen of finance without having anything like a policeman's powers. But we can get some of a, of a, of a CI, CIA person's training, some of it, no doubt not all of it, some of it no doubt is classified, but you can get some of the CIA personal training if you go to companies like that, um, and that perhaps put you a little bit ahead of the game. Personally, I think it's an investment which auditors can't afford not to have, bearing in mind what they expect from us these days, and that's why I'm plugging it, encourage more of us to do it, and to make sure these skills become more widely known in our profession. Um, not because I want to be that kind of auditor but because they're forcing us to be that kind of auditor. I preferred the old-fashioned way myself but uh, that's not an option anymore. So there we go. So we're looking at a, a swimming pool and a swimming lesson, a diving lesson and talking about the audit profession. Where else are you going to get that if not on Usenet Post's channel on YouTube? This is video you won't hear anywhere else coin a phrase. One more of soap then I'll switch it off. Come on soap, do the thing. Come on soap, what are you waiting for? Come on stripey hat, come on. Get on with it, get on with it, get on with it, get on with it. Come on, big one, big jump. Come on, this is going on film. Okay, that's enough for now.